So today I continue my quest to try to find cool cases for the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Now, this is the Spy Gen Thin Fit uh, case for the Galaxy Z Flip 3. And I'm excited to try this because I've had a lot of great experiences with the Thin Fit cases. And I, I want to see what it's like for this phone. The problem with this phone, as I've said so many times before, is that because it's a folding phone, it splits into parts. So pretty much any traditional case you can think of no longer works for it. So you've got to come up with unique and different ways to make cases, to also make them protective, all that wonderful stuff. So here we have the SpyGen case. And right off the bat, um, something new I'm noticing is that this case has adhesive strips on it. So I'm just pulling the bottom part out of this and let me just put all this right here so I can show you guys. So right here is the case. It's pretty nice. It's um, not extremely thin, but it's not very thick either. Definitely feels very protective. Um, and you guys can see right here, there's adhesive strips all across the phone, uh, the case, the inside of the case. So that's interesting. I've never seen a SpyGen case come with adhesive before. So that's, that's a new thing for sure. And they also give you extra adhesive strips, uh, strips I guess, in case um, they get weak over time or, you know, whatever the case may be. That's interesting, you know. I, I haven't really thought about this case needing adhesive, but I can see it because even the Aramid case that I got has a little suction adhesive strip right here, which makes sense given the case isn't really latching on to much, but... I don't know, it just seems like extra steps. So let me go ahead and get rid of these adhesive strips and try this on the phone to see what it looks like. Um, so this is the black one. There are a few more colors. Uh, I'll have them linked in the description, of course, but I just went with the black one because I thought it looked the most simple and also because it was the one that shipped the fastest and I just wanted to case quick. So let me go ahead and remove more of this adhesive. There's quite a lot of it on the top part of the case. There are um, almost five different strips all across, but hoping that that only means that it's a very strong and just generally good case. Okay, let me go ahead, put this on and slide it to the bottom. All right, there we go. So here, here's what the case looks like on the phone. Give you guys a nice look around it. So when it's closed, it completely almost cl cl finishes, cleans up the gap that the, the screen otherwise has. So it almost looks like there is no gap. There's still a little bit of a gap. You can see through it a little bit, but way better than without a case. Uh, another thing I'm noticing right here is that there is a clear cutout for the power button, which makes sense because it's a fingerprint scatter, but there is uh, the, the volume rockers are covered, which is, I guess good. Um, it definitely feels good. It's uh, soft to press and not very difficult. That's good. I hate when buttons on cases are too hard. It just doesn't make the experience good. So you guys can see it kind of, um, you know, the fit and finish on the case is awesome. It lines up very perfectly. You, all, you genuinely almost can't tell there's a case on it. Um, in some ways, it just looks really good. The materials on the bottom are a slight like rubberish finish on the sides as well. But then the back is a hard plastic, if you guys can hear that. And same with the front. Let's go ahead and open the case up and let me show you guys. So the one thing I'm glad about on this one is there is a definite raised edge, a raised lip compared to the um, other cases I've tried, particularly the Samsung ones, uh, which is good for screen protection because I can put it down face face front on a table without worrying about the screen uh, touching the, the surface or getting scratched up, which I really appreciate. Now, the thing is, you know, you don't do that often with a folding phone. If you do set it down, you usually close it in half when you do that. But I'm glad that this is still an option. Um, I do like just at least that extra little bit of protection uh, you get for that screen. The one thing I am noticing, and I'm not liking a little bit of this de design element, is that the glass kind of looks weird. It has these rounded off uh, corners. And if you guys can notice just a little bit, the glass here actually extends a little bit further than the case stops it at. So it kind of just looks like it's not the neatest design. You know, I, it, cover, it perfectly covers the screen. It doesn't intrude on the screen in any way. It's just, I don't know. I was, I'm not 
a particular fan of this design, but overall the case feels great in hand. And when you're using it, uh, it's it's got a pretty decent, it's smooth. It's not like a rough texture, but it's grippy. So it's good for um, putting in your pocket and pulling it out. It's not going to uh, trap things like silicone would. So overall for $30, I want to say, you know, these flip cases, the, the cases for the Galaxy Z Flip are expensive. So $30 is one of the like cheaper ones I could find that's good quality. So it's interesting to me. Um, but for $30, I think this is a pretty good case. I per personally, I'm not a fan of just the cover display um, uh, part of the case, but otherwise inside and out, it looks pretty nice. And I really do like the uh, coverage that the entire phone has, uh, particularly that raised lip for the display. So if you guys are interested in this case, I definitely recommend it. Um, it, it will protect your phone pretty well. And this is the thin fit too. So, I mean, it's uh, it doesn't cover the hinge. I do have a case coming that covers the hinge as well. I'll show that off to you guys when I get it. But uh, for a um, decent protection level without going too thick, I think this is a great case. And um, if you guys wanna check it out, I'll have it linked in the description below, along with some other case options I like too. So go ahead and check that out. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media right here. I'll have the handles right here on the screen. And of course, link down in the description as well. Go check me out over there. And if you wanna see more photos of the phone or the cases, be sure to just ask me on social media. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more Galaxy Z Flip 3 content. I'll catch you in the next one.